push rhymes I pin down paper crimes Ride them off street life, call it paper crimes Like Tony throwing up signs I push rap lines, make another dime Call it paper crimes Push rhymes I pin down paper crimes Ride them off street life, call it paper crimes Like Tony throwing up signs So, what's up though? This uh, just happened, just happened like last night um, at the time of this recording, it is Wednesday the 12th, about, about six minutes till one in the afternoon. This happened last night. I'm trying to like not let it get to me, but it's like, it's hard because it's never, this never happened to me before. So. Uh, I was at work, right, and, um, I was about to leave, but then, um, baby girl came in early for third shift, right, so she was just hanging around until her shift started, right, so then I, I was hanging around because, you know, baby girl, right, <clears throat> uh, there was another girl that um that she got a little bit confused on the schedule 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 she thought she was supposed to be here there last night but it's really tonight she's supposed to be there excuse me I farted um so she took an Uber and I offered to take her home. And it's not just her, I take a lot of people home because I've been in a situation where you're taking the bus to and from work and pretty much anywhere, right? Or you're taking an Uber anywhere, right? And I know that's money and it adds up and sometimes you may have to use your tips that night or that day to get on a bus to go home or whatever, or to go somewhere. I've been in that situation, that shit sucks. <clears throat> um, and I knew when I got a car that I was going to return a favor. I was going to help people go, um, you know, go home or if they need a, if they needed a lift, I was going to take them, um, to work. Um, not really, I was, I was just, I just usually take my coworkers to, uh, to their, either, either to their house or to work. I don't really take them anywhere outside of that. Um, so I try to help people as much as I can with that. But, um, so last night, um, uh, I took her home. But right before I took her home, home, um, the girl, I'm gonna call her, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's Brittany, I guess. She's black, but I'm gonna call her Brittany. Um, she told my baby girl that she was scared. And I get it, you know. She doesn't know me, and I don't know her. So the feelings, are there, they're the same. We feel the same way about each other, I don't know you. But I still took her home because she's a, she's she's a woman and it's just, it's not, it's not a, it's, I know girl, I know women, females have it much more worse than guys out here. So I get why she's scared. Um, Especially in Georgia. And I think Georgia is like the most, one of the most top states, at least in the, at least in the U.S., with sex, uh, sex trafficking and a whole lot of other shit. Um, and it doesn't help that she's 21, but she looks like she's 16 and she has the body of, of a teen. So that that's that's there. Um so 
she never told me that she was scared. But I can tell in her actions that she was nervous. To be in a car with me alone. That a person she doesn't really know. Barely know anything. The only thing she really knows about me is my name. And that I'm hyper. That's it. Um. So, she gets in my car. We go, I, I told her to go get um, some gas. So I put gas in there. Um, and I'm trying to like give y'all details and I'm trying to be like, I hate storytelling. But I have to get this off my chest because, it, like I said, it never happened to me before. So, after the gas, um, she puts in one address. And I'm thinking, you know, she already knows where she's going. Um, she's been at her house for six months. I don't know if that's true or not. But she's been there for six months. And I would think, all right, cool. She already she knows where she's going. She literally had me driving all over the place. She put in about three, maybe four different addresses. And like after the second address, I'm like, okay, I can see what you're doing. I wasn't scared. But I understand why she did that. If you don't know why she did that, let me break it down to you. The reason, she's a very smart woman. And we need more females like that. The reason she, I think the reason, I'm pretty sure the reason she, she put in about three or four different addresses is so she doesn't know, she, is so she doesn't know, wait, so, it, uh, I'm sorry, hold on. It's because she doesn't want to know. She doesn't wait. I'm trying to word it. She doesn't want to know where. She doesn't want. It. Why can't I word this properly? She doesn't want to know. Where. I stay in. Oh, she. I doesn't. I, I don't want to know where. What the fuck? I cannot word this properly. Oh my God. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, but I'm trying to I'm trying to get it out. Oh my God. She doesn't want to know where. I stay at. She doesn't want me to Oh, there we go. Oh, oh there we go. She doesn't want me to know where she stays at. Okay, I, I get it. You know? You don't know me. I don't know you. So she literally had me going to about three to four different addresses. Um, So in the middle of those, those different routes, I was thinking, okay, you're a smart woman. I'm not going to do anything to her. I'm not. Um, I'm, a, I'm a very, like 99% of what you all see on camera, that's me. That 1%, I, it's, it's like a bit over-exaggerated. Or like, yeah. Pretty much what you see on camera, that's, that's how I am in person. You know? On moms, on mothers, on God, like, I don't, I'm not out here hurting people. Um, I treat people with the utmost respects. Uh, I mean, no harm. Like, I'm just a cool, calm person, charismatic person, lovable person. I treat everybody the same. You know, I'm not out here hurting people. Like, what the hell? But I get it, though. She's a very small woman, too. Like, physically, she's small and skinny. 
and she has the body of a of a 15, 16 year old, but she's 21. I know what that looks like. Um, but I just, I, oh, sorry. Right, so, right, so she finally put her real address in, which wasn't even a real address. I mean, it was an address, but it was like, it wasn't her, her address. It wasn't her to her house. She wanted me to drop her off at a gas station. Uh, well, so I did. Um, but I knew, I knew she, when she was in the car with me the whole time, she was very conservative. I don't know if I'm saying that right. She was very, um, to herself, you know, and I pray to God she was, um, excuse me, she was, she, she had protection, like, like a, like a gun or mace or something. Because Georgia is a very, very uh, dangerous state. Shit happens all the time. But. I think the reason I'm making this video is because I've never experienced that before. I never experienced. I've always seen on TV and film and stuff like that where... Um, where somebody would take somebody home, right? And they don't know each other. Or maybe they do, but they don't want that person to know where they live. Oh, I get that. 100%. But I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not. That's not my intentions. And it probably didn't help. That whole time we was in the car, um, I was just trying to get to know her on some friend type shit. Cause she's not, she's not, to me, she's not attractive whatsoever. I got mine. Um, yeah, she's not attractive whatsoever. Um, at most we can be friends. That's it. I'm not, yeah. Um, so you, you going to keep all of that, um, and she told me she doesn't trust people. Which, I, again, I understand. I get that too. I don't trust a lot of people either. I used to. That shit died down ASAP. But yeah, I don't trust a lot of people either. But there's a reason for that. And I, and I feel like something happened in her past. Because now, for her to not trust a lot of people. Because you can't just like not trust somebody or trust people. You can't like not trust people in general without having something happen to you, I feel like. Cause you can't just like like you can't like not trust nobody without no legitimate answer or no reason. Um and then she also said um I don't know how this conversation came up. But she also said something like there was some problems going on at the at the um, at her house. Like what kind of problems? Like I'm the type of person that, like I want to help people, you know. Like that's one of the main reasons why I'm on YouTube is to help you all to get away from, I guess, work. Or to to forget your problems and just watch my videos and have a good time. We all have a good time. That's all we do. But I even before YouTube, I was just helping people. And that that was just it. Like my intentions are good. You have to be. You have to. You have to know that. Now I don't know what happened to her in her past to make her not trust people. But that's a personal problem. I'm not going to do anything to you. I just never been in a situation where I took somebody home and they fit like like they they literally had me driving about two, three, four, or five different addresses. 
Like, if you don't want to know, if you don't want me to know where you live, you should have just said it. That's cool. I understand. I get it 100%. And truth be told, like, after the second address, like, after I realized that, like, uh, the second address was wrong, I was starting to, like, all right, what's, what's up? What you about to do? Because I'm not with that funny shit. I'm not. I'll put you out on the street real fast. You're saying I'm not with it. I'm not because I don't. Like I said, I don't know you. And you don't. I don't know what your intentions are. But my intentions are good. Just because you're a female don't mean nothing. You could. Oh, plus. Chipotle. Don't do no background checks. Whatsoever. You can literally hire somebody off the street. No background checks whatsoever. Like what the what the fuck? We 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 literally worked with a with a pedophile for like a couple of weeks. I didn't know he's a pedophile until after he got fired. But I knew something about him was just off. So I couldn't I don't, I I didn't know exactly what it was, but something about him was off. Um but I just never been in a situation like that where that's crazy. She literally had me driving. I didn't mind it because my gas tank was full. But she literally had me driving about three to four different spots. She put in about three to four different addresses. Jesus. Like, I'm a good, wholesome, I'm just a good person. I really am. I try to be. Even though some people who try to test me, but I am. Um, that's just crazy, though. And I would like to, I would like to know why, what happened. I would like to know what what caused her to not trust people. Oh, she doesn't. She doesn't trust a lot of people. That's what she does. She doesn't trust a lot. I still would like to know what happened. If she's open up, if she if she feels comfortable, I know she doesn't feel comfortable with me, not right now. But I would like to know what caused her to, to not trust a lot of people and what what's going on at home. That's it. I just want to help people. That, that's all. So, and it's crazy because it's like when she, when baby girl, when, when told me that uh, Brittany told, all right, stop, let me hold on, let me back up. When Brittany told baby girl that she was scared, I don't know if she was scared of me. She was probably scared of me. I don't know if she was scared of me or the fact that she was scared because she was in a whole car at night with just me and her with a person she don't know. She was probably scared on that part. I don't know if she was scared of, of me. You have no reason to be scared of me. You know what I mean? Like, and plus I'm a Taurus. <laughs> I'm a Taurus. I have yet to meet anybody that does not like a Taurus. If you don't like a Taurus, that's on you. That's a personal problem. Um, but yeah, I just had to get that off my chest. Like that. I mean, I know some of y'all. I'm gonna ask y'all like a real question, right? And please be honest, please. Keep it 100. Keep it a stack. I know some of y'all have never met me before. And I would like to meet every last one of you guys. And hang out with you guys. And have a good time. But for the people that don't. That never met me before. I know it's a very few that actually did meet me in person. But for the people that. That don't. 
and that have never met me and only know me off my social medias and YouTube and shit, how do I come off? Do I come off as a person that you don't want to be around? Or do I come off like do I come off as a person that you're scared of? Like you don't want to be alone with? Cause something please answer that in the comment section below. Because something had to had to have happened to Brittany in order for her not to trust some people. Most people. So I'm gonna keep my distance. But at the same time. I'm going to try to get to know her on some friend type stuff. Because I feel like she thinks I like her. I, I don't. I don't like you. Please get that out of your head. Because she was like, I was talking to her and I was trying to get to know her. And she said something like, I see what you're doing. What do you see? What are you, what are you talking about? What? If you think I'm trying to get in your pants, I'm not ill. <laughs> Hell no. I, like I said, I got mine. I got mine. You don't got to worry about you. You don't got to worry about me. All right? I just, I want to get to know you. That's it. Damn. But if you're not, if you're not willing to, to open up and talk to me, just as a person to person, or um, on, on like some friend type stuff, that's cool. Then we don't have to be friends. Okay, that would be, be good. Like, I asked her, uh, one question I asked her was, um, I was like, are you, are you in school? And she's like, yeah. And I said, this next question that I said about, about two, maybe three times. Because when I ask you a question, and I'm as clear as day, and you don't answer, and you don't give me the answer, Okay, obviously you don't want to answer. But I said to her, I was like, what are, you, what are you in school for? And she never answered me. What the fuck? Like, it's just, I'm not asking you what school do you go to. I'm not asking you what's, what's your school schedule. I'm just asking you, like, what, what's your major? Like, what are you in school for? Like, what the hell? That's just a simple question. I feel like something bad happened to her. But the fact that she told baby girl that she was scared, that's crazy. And I don't think she, but I don't know if she was that scared because if she was that scared, she would have never been in the car. Either she was scared and she had some protection. But I know my boundaries though. It's all good. And oh, and while she was taking me to different addresses, uh she was like, uh I was like, uh, um, because she had me all over the place. So I was like, oh, I used to take um I used to take so and so with me, like my coworkers. I used to, th oh, I used to, I was telling her, I was, I was like, I used to take, oh, my, uh, I used to take that coworker over here. I used to drop them off over here. Oh, I dropped this person over here. Oh, I dropped this person over here. Oh, over here, over here, over here. And she was like, wow, well, you just know where everybody live? I'm just dropping people off. Like, what the fuck? It's, I'm just trying, I'm just I'm just a person trying to help people. That's it. If I'm in a position where I know I can I can help, I'm going to help. You know, whether that's with money, whether that's with advice, whether that's with um, a car ride. I'm I don't know if I'm going to let you spend the night over here in my in my place because because uh, somebody months ago. A random ass female. I think she was homeless or something. Or she was a veteran. I don't know. But she she was blunt too. She was like, uh, do you stay with anybody? I was like, I was like, no. 
I was like, she was like, can I stay with you? I was like, nah, nah, you're good. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know what you're intending. I, the fuck? I promise, because I promise you, if that lady, if that lady would came over my house and spend the night, and she wasn't even talking about just one night. She was talking about like a couple of nights. I'm like, what the fuck? I promise you, if she would have stayed over my house for a couple of nights, I would have never got no sleep. My eyes would have been laser focused on her. I'm not about to sleep with no stranger in my house that I don't know. What kind of sense does that make? But like I said, I'm not going. I'm not. I would like to get to know her and her past and see if I can help or give out some advice. But if she's not willing to open up, then that's okay. I'm not going to force it out of her. But yeah. For the people that don't, yeah, like I said, like for the people that, that never met me before, how do I come off on camera? Let me know that in the comments. And please be honest, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. You're not like, do I come off as a douchebag? Do I come off as a person that you don't wanna be around? Like, let me know. Oh God, that's just, I, I, had, to, I had to get that off. I had to say that, I had to get that off my chest. She told baby girl that she was scared. That's crazy. Because there's no way in the world she would be scared of me. There's no reason to be scared of me. And I've taken multiple people home, male and females. She was a she was the only person. Yeah, I've been I've been doing this for years. Like helping out my coworkers on, on, and all of that. She's the only person, the first person that has, that has ever done this to me. See, so now I gotta, now I gotta figure out what's going on with her. There we go. But yeah, I just had to, I had to get that off my chest. Um, yeah. If any of, if any of you have ever been in a situation like that, whether it's coming from my shoes or her shoes, let me know down in the comment section below too. But I, but yeah, like I get it though. I get I, I get why she was scared. I get why she was nervous, and I get why she sent me all over the place and put in about three or four different addresses. I get it, but I'm not gonna hurt you. I promise you. But that's real. That's real. God, that's so real. But she's a smart woman, though. She's good. She's okay. She'll be all right. Um, yeah. I just want to get it off my chest. I should have. I should have made this video into like a live video. I don't know why I didn't. But hey, keep it cool. Keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family.